an, an experience from when I was in nursing school is, is very much the experience that I'm reading about today with the current Colonel Scheller. One day I was in OB class and we all had an exam and the teacher was like, you need to study, you know, chapters two, three, four, and, you know, the first part of chapter five, let's just say for the exam, because that's what's going to be on the exam. And people are like, well, is chapter one going to be on the test? Is chapter six going to be on the test? Because we had already covered all the material and we were already into the next, you know, section that we were going to cover. And the teacher was like, no, you don't have to, because this is what's going to be on the test. Now, I had already been well studied in the class. And so exam day came and went. I got my exam back. I got like a 96, 90, 98, whatever on the exam. And some of the questions when I was actually going over the exam were questions from material that the professor said wasn't going to be on the test. And so, of course, people were upset. You know, some people that had failed the test and they were like, you said not to study for this part of the test because this wasn't going to be in it. And then she referred to the syllabus. She held up the syllabus and she said, you are responsible for, uh, you know, all the material up to date to wherever to wherever we are in the class. You are responsible for all of the material. Now, of course, regardless. So kids got together. They were like, how'd you do? And I was like, I, I got a 98. And they were like, yeah, you know, some of this stuff was, you know, on the next version, but I had already been up to date. So I was already studying for the next part of the class. And so everybody was all upset and they were like, you should say something. I was like one of the only guys in the class. And so in the beginning, when class starts, she's like, does anybody have, and she was a very strict African teacher. Um, she was very, very straightforward, very strict, but easily when you talk to her, she's very agreeable when you talk to her. So I raised my hand like the idiot that I am. And I'm like, you know, some of the questions that you said weren't going to be on the test. And, you know, some of the information was there. And then she was like, give me an example. And I gave her an example. And then she was like, does anybody else have a problem with the test? And all these people that asked me to step forward didn't say shit. So at the end of the class, she calls me over at the end of the class. She's like, let's speak to you outside. And then she looks at my grade and she's like, you got a 98. Why did you raise your hand? And I said to her, because all the other students, you know, had the same objective. I was like, and they were the ones that asked me. I was like, it didn't affect me. I was already up to date, as you can see by my exam. <clears throat> and she was like, don't do that again. You get yourself into trouble and look what happens. When push comes to shove, these people don't stand along with you. And I remember that till this very day from my professor. And the very same thing, of course, is happening to Lieutenant Colonel Scheller as he rejects Trump support. And, of course, Trump supporters now reject him as this person had posted here. There was another one. I was like, what are all these? I see all these people. I've lost respect for so and so. I, I, I don't support this person, etc." And I'm like, what happened? And this is what happens, right? You speak up. It says he said, I don't, I don't need or want your help. And it says, prior to MAGA Trump supporters raising more than $2 million to help with his legal costs, it says, Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Scheller publicly denounced help from the former president and his son, saying that he would rather sit in jail than accept their support. And mind you that maybe this man has a little bit more insight than your average normie. But this is what happens with the normies. It's like, well, if you don't support the guy that we support, well, then we don't support you. Mindful that this guy, and this is why you don't stick your neck out. He stuck his neck out for the normies, saying that these people should be held accountable for their actions and leaving behind fellow soldiers, getting people killed, getting civilians killed over there. And he might have a different mindset about Donald Trump like I do. I voted for Donald Trump twice. But I realize, you know, that he's just status quo. He's, there is nothing, ex uh, you know, exceptional about him. Sure, he's all, you know, MAGA, make America great, make, you know, put America first. But it's all rhetoric. It's all rhetoric. And all you got to do is look at what he did. The whole thing with the vaccine was started under him. Did he stop the lockdowns and say, no, we put freedom first and people's right to choose? No, he was like, lock that shit down. When the vaccine came out, he was, you know, he was the cheerleader. He was out there, rah, rah for Pfizer. And now this is the very same program that he initiated under his presidency 
that is now being weaponized against the common man. And even till this day, that man has said absolutely nothing about passports. He's like, yeah, these people should go out there and get it. And, the, you know, the MAGA supporters are just like looking back and forth like, yay, Trump, right? But when you become outspoken like this gentleman is, this is the sort of man that he is. He he's he, he doesn't just look at the, the the superficial of things that he can see deeper. He can discern the way these individuals are, and he can. St- this guy's just status quo. You're voting for someone that also doesn't have your best interests at heart. It's just like the Ron DeSantis of the world. I mean, there's a there's a mandate here. There's a mandate here in, in Florida, and that's why when I I mean, don't even get me started. Like the mindset here in Florida when it comes to the mask, especially among medical workers, is even worse. Than in New York, I see. I still see healthcare workers sitting in their own cars with masks on, and we're this deep into the game. These people are lost. There is no sal- There's no salvation. There's no saving these people. They're stuck in whatever mindset they're in. Is the mindset they're, they're gonna? It doesn't matter what you show these people. That I'm like, where the hell did the flu go? And there's like, can't even have that question. Can't even have that conversation. But this is the this is the reality. When, when you, you stick your neck out for these people and the moment you have a disagreement with them, they're like, oh, you know, guess who lost my support? This guy right here. Mindful that he's been serving your country for, what, 17 years? Like, that just goes all out the window. Mindful he was the only person, the only person who stood up and said, we need accountability from these generals for what they did, for the loss of life, for leaving all that money behind. And they're just like, what, you don't support Trump? That just all goes out the window and it just goes to show the mindset that these individuals they're just follower of men they have no principles that they follow it's just like is this the person that espouses the same thing that i want to agree with? they just like sheep they just follow they just follow these individuals and i said this time and time again that people need someone to follow they're incapable just like the bible says in the book of psalms it does not belong to man who is walking even to direct his step and so they look to these individuals they look to these individuals and they say become our savior right for all these people that are like you're an idiot for believing in god you you, you believe in god you're a moron and these people make men their gods they make men their gods or they make science their gods or they make the state their gods and they blindly follow them and they blindly worship these individuals. And if you don't believe in what we believe in, then you are to be shunned regardless of what you know principles that you stand for. And this is basically where I just like this has been such a great exposure of people and what's in here. And you really see from your neighbors. I mean, shoot, I, I still got to this day. I still got nurses talking about, you know, we need to hold these people down and make them take it or throw them in camps. And I'm like, what happened to right to refuse? We don't force medications on patients in the hospital. What would make you think that you can do that outside the hospital? But it just goes to show you when when push comes to shove, people will throw their principles aside of what they supposedly say that they stand for. And they'll just blindly follow whoever it is that, you know, they put all their faith in. But this is kind of where we're at. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I haven't done a video in a little bit. going to do an update video. But I thought this was rather, rather very telling about both, both Trump supporters as well as those who support Biden and support the state. This is basically where we're at in 2021. And it's not going to get better. The, the, the tearing apart of the country will con- will continue and it's just because most of these people can't think for themselves they just they just can't think for themselves they have to follow somebody they got to follow somebody there's no inward compass that leads them in a particular direction where they can sit here and have a conversation about why they believe what they believe it's just all this cult-like sort of mentality among americans nowadays anyway i'm going to leave it here for feel free to, of course to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you out next time